My name is Zachary Hurwitz. Uh, I coordinate the policy program of International Rivers and I'm coordinating uh, the panels on um, water and dams as part of the larger plenary of extractivism. Um, there are two sessions to our panels. The first session is about local, local struggles against dams. The second session is about the new political economies of hydropower. And we have eight panelists from civil society organizations across the world. Uh, Brazil, Turkey, Colombia, Chile, Pakistan, um, uh, France, uh, Italy, and myself. And the proposal of the panel is to bring together dam fighters from across the world, people who are working together with local communities to resist uh, large mega hydropower schemes um, that are killing the rivers of our planet Earth. Um, every day we see that more and more uh, dams are being built on the, the rivers of the world and it's no longer just the traditional financiers such as the World Bank or the International Finance Corporation. Now China is the world's largest dam builder. Uh, the Brazilian government is coming up uh, uh, close behind um, damming rivers in the Amazon basin uh, more and more and so the proposal of this panel is to share stories from the grassroots and um, the campaigns and successes and failures of stopping dams and giving it a bit of context of political economy uh, to describe what are the new challenges that social movements and affected dam affected people are facing. A lot of uh, the panelists are already colleagues so we work together um, almost uh, daily, monthly, uh, we see each other a lot, but one of the uh, concrete proposals that we'd like to create from this panel is uh, more capacity building tools to uh, teach uh, affected communities, uh, based communities, what are the new challenges to hydropower. Um, one such um, capacity building program that we're involved with right now is teaching people about a new greenwashing scheme. Uh, called the Hydropower Sustainability Assessment Protocol. This is something that has been created by the dam industry, the International Hydropower Association, to replace uh, the civil society uh, uh, based recommendations of the World Commission on Dams, which was truly a multi-stakeholder dialogue in the year 2000 um, that now informs a lot of policy frameworks in the world. And so the dam industry has created their own set of guidelines, which are voluntary, um, and is trying to um, have governments across the world adopt this. And this is going on right now at the World Water Forum. So something that we want to achieve is to build capacity, uh, create capacity building tools so that civil society across the world and dam affected people have the tools necessary to critique and combat and defend their rivers. We hope to create um, um, a database of uh, cases in which dam companies um, have violated human rights. Um, we're also working on creating um, a, a civil society based standards guide, a rights based approach to social and environmental standards, um, which we hope to um, circulate among our partners here at the Alternative Water Forum and outside as well. Um, and really publish this uh, hopefully later this year to say this is what civil society wants. This, we, we don't want dams on the rivers, um, but when they do happen, this is, these are the human rights and social and environmental rights and standards that we want to see upheld. Um, so really contest the private, the, the private industry-led approach of uh, the HSAP, as it's called.